Azure Gleam, a trick of the goddess. Central Adrestia is soundly defended under the command of Regent Ire. However, attacks from the Kingdom and Alliance erode the Empire's defenses in both the East and West. Amidst all this, General Randolph enlists a certain mercenary company to Adrestia's cause. Their forces stand to defend Hevering territory, the Empire's final bastion in the West. Let me get this straight. If they break through Hevering land, there'll be nothing to stop the Kingdom's army from rolling straight to the capital. That's right. The seat of Hevering's power, Mazgus, lies east of here, past the bottleneck in the Agma Mountains. It's essentially on Invar's doorstep, the western gateway to the seat of power. Count Hevering and his men will make their last stand there. That is, if the Lions of Fargus can get through us first. And of course, we will make every possible effort to defeat them, for whatever that's worth. Never a good sign when you're calling something your last stand. Indeed. And we've lost far too many of our most formidable generals, including Marquis Vestra. I have not the slightest idea what's befallen our forces at the capital. Nor in the east, for that matter. Yes, the whole army's been feeling a little off lately. Thankfully, you and your squadron still have your heads on straight. It's a sad state of affairs out there. Hardly any dependable leaders remain. Instead, we're left with those who take pride in senseless looting and slaughter. Or compete to see who can reduce more villages to ash. Each and every one of them handpicked by His Excellency, the Regent. Are you sure you should be spilling secrets like that? It's all right. I'd like you to have the full picture. Your company holds the key to victory in your hands. And with it, our very lives. Oh, but keep all that under wraps, if you would. It would bring the morale of my troops crashing to new lows were that to get out. Usually mercs are backup for an army, not full-on replacements. But it is what it is. In any case, we'll get the job done so long as you're paying. Gerald, should I perish in this fight, you can consider your contract terminated. You'll be free to stop supporting the Empire in its foul descent into depravity. Randolph. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us, but it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war and the state it's in, the Kingdom is throwing everything they've got at this thing. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? The general opposite us is a man by the name of Randolph. I hear tell he's related to the Empire's Count Burglies. To complicate matters further, he's hired Gerald's mercenaries to assist in their fight. Them again, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. 
The Imperial Army has gathered their forces in Hevering territory, with said mercenaries composing the core of their offense. I expect they'll engage us in the Woodlands, an ideal location for the guerrilla warfare they specialize in. And we'll have to look out for traps and ambushes as we advance. More than usual, that is. They're placing a great deal of faith in Gerald, trusting the front lines to his company. Perhaps there are no other generals for them to rely on. This is our chance, then. We'll be in a great spot if we can land a decisive blow on the Empire. Absolutely. They're bound to start feeling the heat over an Enbar once we get a solid foothold here in Hevering territory. Yes, and the enemy is surely well aware of that fact. No doubt that's precisely why Geralt is among their ranks. He and his company are incredible fighters. But there's more to it than that. They also have immense discipline. As long as they can afford the cost, I can see why the Imperials would trust them over some of their less experienced generals. I didn't expect us to be facing them again so soon. We had best be ready. Though truly, I wish we could fight alongside them for once instead. We can't keep letting one mercenary mess with our whole army. So just watch. I'm gonna take that monster out once and for all. Or at least slow them down, if nothing else. That hesitance doesn't suit you. Not anymore. You're far stronger than the last time your paths crossed. Just say the words and I'll give you all the power I can muster. We will prevail. Whatever we decide to do, we will need a sound strategy if we are going to win. A strategy, huh? Maybe something like a huge surprise attack on the Imperial positions. A bold suggestion, Sylvain. You remind me of your father when he was young. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment or what. Margrave's been managing the conflict in the North for decades now, hasn't he? I'd say it's a great honor to be compared to him. Ah, such fine memories. All of his strategies seem to involve sending me and Lambert off to thrust through the enemy lines on our own. Yeah, going straight to the suicide charge every time doesn't sound all that strategic to me. At any rate... I have full faith that our combined might will be up to the task at hand. We must succeed. Mm -hmm. Come on, Arval, seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong, very wrong. The last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible. An act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Well, whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short.
my best. I can depart at once. I am ready to be battling. I'll do my best. None shall stand in my path. this territory shall we I must succeed shall we let's give it a shot please excuse me is this okay begin the operation our orders are clear begin the sky spirit hear you loud and clear I'll make short work of it let's begin it's time to move we will greatly advance the war let us strike at their commander the enemy has surrounded our main force, Your Majesty. We must clear them away. Remember, we have more than the Imperial troops and Randolph to think about. Keep your eyes on those mercenaries, too. No point in us fighting the Ashen Demon here if we can avoid it. Forgive me, but we can't afford to lose here. Half is over. Move up. Not a problem. I've got this. I must succeed. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Please. It's, is this okay? Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Begin. The Sky Spirit, what? Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Let's begin. It's time to move. Onward! See neither hide nor hair of the mercenaries. They're most likely lying in wait. The Ashen Demons probably will. We're gonna have a decision on our hands once they show up. Let us take this stronghold. Let's do this. The enemy stronghold will be ours. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Let's begin. It's time to move. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The sky's... Shall we? Let's give it a shot. They've fallen straight into our trap. Now, descend upon them. The enemy draws near. We must protect Randolph. Get to your line! The mercenaries sprung their ambush, making this the perfect chance to raid the enemy base. Begin. Our orders are clear.
please. Excuse me. Is this okay? Over. A raid. The enemy must be desperate. But all will be lost if our base falls. Send reinforcements. Do not interfere. Closing this gate might buy us some time. Now, close the gate. I'm with Gerald, you know. Don't think I'll go down so easily. Let the heat just nigh. No This is the end. Someone worth my time. Shall we? I must succeed. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I've got this. Please, excuse me. Is this okay? Begin. The Scott. Shall we? Let's take a breather. Really, the best you can do? Well, it'll take more than that. Not a problem. I've got this. Let's get alarming. I'd better not take any more chances. I shall retreat for now. This stronghold will fall! Begin. I am advancing. Must succeed. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I must 
stand my ground. For Randolph. As much as it pains me, we cannot elect. If we do not defeat your commander, this battle will never reach it. Randolph, I'm so sorry. Please stay safe. It's conclusion. <laughs> Please! No! If only I had done more to stop her from fighting! I'm taking as many of you down as I can. Here they are. Keep your wits about you. Please, excuse me. Is this not a problem? I've got it. Shall we? Let's give it a sh begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Begin the operation. Our orders are hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Let's begin. It's time. Lament your weakness! Surrender! Let's begin. It... I don't care who you are. You go no further. I've never faced a challenge like this. Destiny unfurls. You're even stronger than I thought. I can still win this. Uh, no, not again. I have to get out of here. The Ashen Demon has fled. Should we not give chase? I bear a report from Lord Rodrigue, Your Majesty. Enemy reinforcements are approaching our base. That's not good. But we can't afford to let up now. Indeed. Felix and I will go. That will be more efficient than dividing our entire army. The demon has fled. In that case, I have no choice but to engage. My turn? Oh, I am prepared to fight. 
their commander down. Surely that's the end of this battle, right? I leave to take care of one backup squad and come back to this? What a mess. I doubt old Randolph could rest in peace without me getting a little payback first. We have to stop him. I don't remember agreeing to take the rear. I'll have to charge double to this. The Ashen Demon might have gotten away, but you'll make a fine substitute. Stronger folks than you have tried to fail to claim the Blade Breaker's head. No escape! My arm! That's not good. You just not. This is the end. Too late to get away now. like you finally beat me. About time my luck ran out. Guess I'm overdue. The rest is up to you, kid. I defeated the Blade Breaker. I can't believe it. You should be more careful, Felix. <laughs> what do you know of caution? I guess this is it, then. So it would seem. Your Majesty! It's good to see you safe! Ah, and you, Roderick. Well, Felix, I trust you've been keeping a watchful eye on him. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no watching out for my recklessness. Now you admit it. We need you in one piece. <laughs> See that, Lambert? Just like when we were myself. their age. You were there every step of the way. All right. The others are waiting. We wouldn't want them to worry about... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> You'll pay for this! The steadfast. And the vigorous. You would offer them as tribute? Again. You resist me? No! Not exactly the way I thought I'd meet my end, but... I can only hope that I served you well. Don't say that. We'll get you help. <clears throat> Protect them, Felix. His Majesty. And the Kingdom. Oh. I swear that I will. Lambert. Glenn. Forgive me. Oh. Gerald's... gone? No. This is all my fault. I let them walk all over me. I left him unprotected. 
I'm sorry, Captain. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. Mercenaries live short lives. It did not have to be like this. Had you not scorned my strength, your father would yet live. The Captain was a true titan among men. I... <laughs> can't believe he's gone. <sighs> there is a way to solve this woe. Just grant to me your worldly flesh, and vengeance shall be yours. We must now send the whelp that killed your father to an early grave. Do you mind taking command for a while, Aloise? There's something I need to do. Well, yes, of course, but surely I can aid you. No. This task is mine alone. Very well. But don't you dare get yourself killed. This is the reality of war. We always knew days like today would come. More than anything, I'm worried about how Felix and Dimitri must be feeling right now. <sighs> Where's Dimitri? And Felix? They are still talking with the other lords about where we go from here. Rodrigue's death has left some massive shoes to fill. Rodrigue devoted every second of his life to the kingdom, even after he stepped down as a duke. There are always plenty of pieces to pick up when you lose someone like that. Listen, this is all my fault. If only I'd figured out what they were up to sooner. I know you won't listen if I tell you you're wrong, so let me just say this. Nothing you do will bring back the dead. And that includes blaming yourself for what happened. Yeah, you're right. Come on, it's getting late. I think we could all use a nice dinner and a good night's rest right now. I get that they're trying to make me feel better, but I still can't help but blame myself. I'm sorry, Arval. You were right. All this stuff about avoiding the Ashen Demon, you knew from the beginning it wasn't gonna happen. What's done is done, and in the end, you've lost someone quite dear to you. A sad turn of events, yes, but you can't wallow in it. No matter how much it may hurt now, this pain will make you stronger, I'm sure of it. I hope you're right, and I guess it's worth remembering there are people much more affected by this than I am. Not much choice now but to toughen up, and one of these days, defeat the Ashen Demon. Have I such room to grow? I have not withered away just yet. This will help me break new boundaries. <laughs> I think I've learned something new. What are you doing up at this hour? You should head back to your tent. We have an early start tomorrow. I could say the same to you. I know you're busy and all, but you need rest. As pitiful as it may sound, burying myself in work is the only way I can find peace in times such as these. 
The moment I close my eyes, I'm greeted by nothing but thoughts of Rodrigue. Dimitri, I'm sorry. It was all my fault. You needn't blame yourself. Felix and I were right there. We could do little more than watch while his life was taken from him. And of course, we never would have found ourselves in such a position had my judgment been better. Still, defeating the Ashen Demon has always been my responsibility. I was a fool to think we could settle things without fighting them, and Rodrigue lost his life to that foolishness. But I won't make the same mistake again. I will defeat the Ashen Demon. Mark my words. That fiend is my enemy too, and everyone else feels the same. Wasn't it you who taught me not to bear all my burdens alone? Now go get some sleep. I'm sure you're tired. Right. Thanks, Dimitri. <sighs> you should know I don't take kindly to eavesdropping, Felix. I should have kept quiet. You know, such talk would kill our morale if our soldiers caught wind of it. Thankfully, it is a secret to all. Save prowlers like you. <laughs> I'm just here to check you're not making things worse. How much worse could it get? My poor leadership sent Rodrigue to his death. He never intended to sacrifice his life like that. You're as thick as ever. Yes, I'm sure my father regretted dying in such a way. But not because he wasn't ready to go. If anything, he was already looking for a fitting place to die. His one regret would be never getting to see the new Fargus, his beloved king created. I... Which is why I'll be taking his place by your side. You need to win this war. Not just for today's kingdom, but for tomorrow's. Only then, Will his dream finally come true? Felix. It's funny. The two of us staring at the stars on a cold night like tonight brings back memories. You mean when we got snowed in on the mountains? I remember it well. I thought that evening would be our last. Until Rodrigue and Glenn found us huddled together amidst the frost, that is. Worst scolding I ever got. <sighs> well, I doubt they begrudge us a few tears tonight, at least. No. I imagine not. I pray for your safety in the coming battle, Your Majesty. And you can rest easy. We will cover the Western Front in your absence. I don't know what I've done to deserve such reliable knights in my service, but I thank you all the same. The monastery will be ours, I swear it. Now then, let us all live to see the sun rise on Fargus another day. Yes, your majesty. Yes, this is it. The final push. Indeed. And with Lester and the church involved, this will undoubtedly be our largest battle since this very war began. By now, we're well acquainted with what Adrestia is capable of. Yet, it's difficult to predict what we'll be up against. All we can do now is take up arms to fight, survive, and ultimately, carve our way to victory. Every one of our battles so far has been important, yes. But this one seems almost overwhelmingly so, especially considering how far we have come to get here. But at the same time, it all feels like it's happened so quick. I mean, I can remember the Empire declaring war on the Church as if it were yesterday. If you don't mind me asking, Your Majesty, say we do get the Monastery back, what happens then? 
We push forward to Enbar, of course. After that, I can't say. But there's no sense speaking of such matters now. We must focus on the task at hand. We are ever by your side, Your Majesty, no matter what comes next. All of us have chosen this path, and we will stand by it. What's wrong, Mercy? Are you nervous? Oh, no. I was just... thinking about something. Do you remember that Death Knight who was fighting with the Empire? I wonder where he is now. Huh. Good question. He used to show up all the time, but it's been a while since he's made an appearance. I guess we better be ready for him to come charging out at any moment, just to be safe. Yes, I think you're right. He was quite the warrior. Come on, everyone. We've got to get to ALL before the enemy catches on to us.